Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Eric from the Beamer Fam. Right here we have my E39 M5, but today we're gonna compare it to its more newer relative. We have an F10 M5 with Akrapovich exhaust. Also has down pipes. We're pretty much just gonna go hop in it real quick and compare the M5 chassis. So let's waste no time, let's get it. Yeah, now we're in the F10 M5. This is my friend Sam. What's up, guys? He's the owner. Um, if you, you want to plug your Instagram, feel free. Yeah, no, I got a couple, but uh, <laughs> it's uh, five M's and then the word five, so M5, easy enough, right? It's perfect. I mean, you yeah. guys saw the license plate. <laughs> yeah. so, people got to know, man. It's yeah. M, so. <laughs> yeah. Now we're about to just cruise around the block, and just talk about some of the differences and similarities between uh, the E39 and F10 M5. Yeah. No, they're awesome. I mean, the uh, they're both boats to begin with, mm -hmm. but it's a blast. They uh, just came out of the uh, E39, and I mean, I do miss a manual transmission. I know they did offer it on the F10s. Um, obviously, it's not quite as fast as a DCT, mm -hmm. but um, it's more fun, I'll say, and you do feel more connected. But the DCT, I mean, just flying through the gears is a blast. Man, so yeah. it, with ease too. Right. So you can get you know more. Speed get to higher speeds quicker yep. yep yeah you get you cruise pretty quick without uh even fully realizing it so mm -hmm. <laughs> and but no it's i mean this car i think it's awesome that it has like two totally different personalities mm -hmm. and it's just a lazy everyday five series cruiser mm -hmm. and uh i mean you can get your ass massaged and heated and cooled all at the same time um <laughs> but at the same time you'll fly up to 175 before you know it. So yeah. it's it's just totally two different world. The transmission is butter. Yep. Oh, yeah, no, it's... <laughs> yeah, it, and so this one has uh, down pipes and an Akrapovich exhaust. Okay. So it's got a little bit more power than the average M5 um, or F10. I, there's a couple things you always want to do to it, of course, but no, I've never dynoed it, so I don't know exactly what it's making. I know out of the box, I think the factory rated 560, um, but that was always, to be said, pretty conservative, and so I would think I'm somewhere in the range of 600 plus to the crank, Man. so it'll haul. It'll move on, yeah. that's for sure. And you guys see how it looks, too, so it's like very appropriate to have the power that it does yeah. because it just yeah. looks so mad. Well, that's one of the things I love is that it's still a little understated and unless you kind of know what you're looking at or hear it fly past you, um, it's just another, you know, four-door sedan. So right. it's big enough to toss the kids in the back. It's perfect. You know, trunk is huge, um, but at the same time, I mean, you can have some fun with it. And, uh, time goes on we always want more space more and more and more at least mm -hmm. I feel like as humans in the automotive industry you yep. always want more shit yep. more power more, more seats or whatever yeah. more technology and this is, this is that yep. so. no it's a great mix man and it um, you're right that it is a big car like I came from a, a Audi RS4 2007 and that was a nice little sports car for still had four doors but you, you felt it you know you could I could reach the other door handle no problem sitting here but this thing was like oh man I can't see the front end and I have no idea what's going on but it has a weird sensation and they touted it from the factory and until you really drive it you don't uh, realize it but at speed it starts to feel like it shrinks around you um, yeah. so you definitely feel that no it's not gonna like corner like an M3 or an M4 um, but it's not what it's built for right, right. so you know it's a fun just highway cruiser and that's, that's what it does best so yeah I guess it's a limo it's like yeah. a uh, high performance limo that does a GTR yeah limo. let's try and catch that guy I've seen him around oh really yeah what's some nice cars are yeah man. 
I, pull, I rolled up against some uh, some GTRs, and you know, I guess I'm not cool enough to be in the GTR gang, so some of them don't don't want to do some pulls with me, which is fine. But uh, no, they're sweet cars, and um, I've done some pulls against some GTRs, and this thing, trust me, it holds its own. No okay. problem. So they'll take me off the line, no problem, with the you know their all-wheel drive system. Yeah. But that's been the one downfall with this car is that unless conditions are like close to perfect, traction is you know not at existent. best yeah it's non-existent and uh, if you really hit it full throttle from a dead stop you're spinning straight through second gear um, so you do have to fully roll onto the throttle make sure tires are temperature and all that stuff mm -hmm. but um, yeah no with. Still being a rear-wheel drive car, pushing 600 horsepower or so to the crank. It, a lot of the power band is usable if you know how to drive it and, you know, don't fully take off traction control. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Comparing, like, this car and, like, my car, Yeah. how, how fast do they feel against each other? You know, it's funny because kind of the uh, you definitely feel more connected mm -hmm. to the manual in the E39, but... Um, this one, you hit peak torque on this car starting at 1500 RPM, and then it holds it all the way towards the top of the band. Mm -hmm. On the manual, um, it feels almost lower than that. You can get into yeah. the power band and really push through, but at the higher RPM, yeah, it feels that way. But, but I mean, this is a twin turbo, and exactly. so it's just going to keep building that boost. Right. Um, but yeah, that this car is obviously faster, but the sensation of speed is definitely close to it. I would say in the in the older M5, because um, those cars, I mean, you just feel so connected to. So it's like I like to compare it as like I would say like the E39 M5 mm -hmm. is more dramatic. Could be subdued. I mean, mm -hmm. you almost have to try a bit harder to get into this one. Mm -hmm. um, Especially if you're not in anything outside of the harshest Sport Plus settings and everything. If you're in just regular cruising comfort, I mean, your foot's going way down on the, the pedal to try and get some power and get some speed going. Um, but in Sport Plus, I mean, the throttle is just like a hairpin. Yeah. So, it's, I mean, it's the tech difference, though. I think on the E39s, you know, you feel like you can do a burnout almost at, you know, <laughs> and you at can. a two mile an hour roll. So, yeah. <laughs> On this thing it's like all right let me press 94 buttons yeah, and then be able and to do it so yeah, yeah yeah but no it's different sensation um you do feel more connected on that car in my book especially at lower speeds um but there's what 10 plus years difference between yeah, the two like, so yeah 10 years what yeah, is this 20 this is 2013 so this is the yeah. first this is pre-facelift on these but it was just cosmetic facelift on the yeah. f10s um, yeah, 11 years. So, yeah. And uh, 100,000 miles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. so, yeah, if you're someone who wants uh, like a dramatic, more old school yeah. experience, definitely go for the E39 and 5. But if you like the, the new tech, um, mm -hmm. more drivable, and how, yeah. how'd you like it in the winter? You know, so I daily this. I mean, throughout the entire year, and Michigan winters, they're not easy winters on cars. Mm -hmm. um, but it was fine, unless, I mean, the only, I don't, it wasn't even problems, but the only times where it was somewhat more cautious was in deep snow, and it just mm -hmm. became a snow plow. Mm -hmm. um, but I never got stuck, and no, I didn't try to go drive it like three feet of snow. Um, but, I mean, the harshest sleet and ice and, you know, everything we've had, it was totally fine. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, if I press the traction control button and even put it into MDM mode, mm -hmm. it, uh, MDM was still fun in the winter because it would give you a little bit of that slip, but mm -hmm. if you turn traction off, then you're just SOL. <laughs> <laughs> but so you pretty much had to keep traction control on. But yeah, yeah. it was totally fine. I mean, compared to my wife's Q7, mm -hmm. it was essentially the same thing. Um, and you bounce around and uh, feel the grooves more just because mm -hmm. it's a smaller car, but it hold, held its own. I mean, totally well. So that's um, awesome. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's kind of like how my car is. Like, it, it does really well in the winter. Like, yeah. obviously, you have to be cautious and be a smart driver. But yeah, yeah, you can really drive these cars in the winter if you yeah. want to. Yeah, yeah, no, not a problem. And I mean, yeah, the right tires for sure help. Like, I don't run my summer high performance, you know, Pilot 4S's on in the winter. 
Um, I have uh, Pirelli Soto Zeros, and they're great. And uh, even in cold weather, they grip well, much better than the summer tires. And so I think that's just a huge, you know, X factor for a winter driver. Yeah. Manuals are very, very fun. But this thing, I mean, you can get in when you're tired and just toss drive. it and drive, and yeah, don't don't worry about a thing. So I it's been able to do that in years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right on, no, but I mean this thing too, I will say, um, for in a good and a bad way, it's very quiet. So yeah, like I've got full Rolling titanium motion. exhaust. Yeah. And uh, unless you're really getting into it and the dampers are opened up and the exhaust is at temperature, mm -hmm. if you're just, you know, lightly cruising it, it's you know, sleeper and just a lazy cruiser. Yeah. But um, when you open the windows and hear the exhaust or get into it you know it it comes alive so thank you guys for watching the video yeah. make sure you subscribe thanks sam awesome guy for, awesome channel man <laughs> bringing the content <laughs> for sure yeah follow us on instagram uh, we'll see you guys in the next video see ya thanks for watching